All right, welcome back. We're going to do another quick tutorial on adding a NuGet package to your Godot project. Uh, first thing, this is going to be for C Sharp, obviously, because it's NuGet.net stuff. Um, also, I'm going to be using Visual Studio Code. If you have any issues setting up Visual Studio Code with Godot, um, I'm going to link a video in the description to Fine Point CGI. He does an excellent job of it. And uh, in particular, he shows how to set up debugging for Godot 4 with Visual Studio Code, which I don't think is something documented anywhere else to my knowledge anyway. So anyway, once you have that step done and you've got Visual Studio Code uh, hooked up to Godot, um, just you know, as usual, if you're going in and doing your coding and you want to add a reference that you can use, you, you can edit the CS project file, which I showed in my NoSQL tutorial where you can manually add an item group here. And then from the NuGet page, you can search and put the XML uh, reference in here. That works, but let's do this an easier way. That's really all that's happening in the end though. It's good to know that. So if you go to packages and type in NuGet, you'll get a few options up here. The one I've been using is this NuGet package manager GUI. I do notice it's in preview as is this one. So if you're concerned about maturity, there's one here that does not have preview on here, but this is the one I'm gonna use and demonstrate. So again, uh, pretend we haven't done this already. Well, you hit Control Shift P to bring up that context menu, and it's on top for me. But again, if it's not, just type in, and you'll get uh, the package manager. And then you go over to install new package if you want to look for a new one. Um, so I don't know, say Tesseract if you want AI for whatever reason. Uh, the, so then it brings up the package list, uh, you know, according to the search pretty straightforward. You click install. And I've already tried this, so it did not happen. But if you have not installed it before, you're going to probably get a pop up in the lower right down here and with the restore button, which will just resolve any dependencies as usual. Once that's done, then you'll have the uh, it'll you'll see right here. It just added this line. So again, that's all that's really happening. Um, but then if you were to go, you know, you wanted to use Tesseract, for example, you can see it's coming up in the IntelliSense here. So then you could use that API. One other little tidbit, um, at least for this particular one, so I'm not actually going to use Tesseract, so I'm just going to remove that. And you can see right away, it takes it right out of that file. So that's what's happening in the background. Um, here you'll see it says it's updated as unknown. So it looks like with, with this particular extension, uh, it has this uh, option to load package versions like Right now, it just has the one I added, but if you go to here, it looks and sees if there are any newer versions, and then obviously you can update, but then you can also uh, roll back. Like, let's say you updated it and you found a bug, you could just use this to easily roll back, which essentially, again, would be changing this, but you you know, you would know it's a version that exists if you're, you know, just picking it from a drop down. Pretty cool.